Well, guys, you know yesterday when I said I've got bad luck. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Oh, well, my bad luck sugar hit me tonight. Yeah, this is crazy Sammy coming at you playing modded Minecraft Project Ozone Light with the sky, with the Hermit Skies map on XB Crafted's patron server. Yep, I got all done recording, telling you guys about all this nice work over here I did. Got out, started to edit, and you want to know what? The file was corrupted. I went through and I kept searching, I kept searching, trying to find the problem. And yeah, evidently when my niece was playing on my computer, she changed some settings. Yeah, so note to self double check the settings before you start recording oh man lesson learned well just to give you guys a rundown of what we did I flattened this place out it looks really good I think I like it it's easier to travel we got rid of the trees we made some we made some apples here and I'll show you guys a little trick for getting all the apples I also uh did believe it or not I also did get some good food we're using applesauce now I'll go ahead and show you guys how to make that in a few minutes but if you build these apple trees all you need are three apples we got 45 that's enough you just grab grab yourself some saplings we'll grab two put put the little sapling there in the corner and just go ahead and add three apples around it and BAM you got yourself two nice apple trees you plant them you twerk and then next thing you know you got an apple tree oh excuse me everyone oh all of a sudden i had the hiccups yeah excuse me oh man that that was not good but yeah if you guys want nice large amounts of apples we have the twerk mod right a friend of mine showed me this it's uh pretty cool so you just sit here and go like this and oh man they're growing as fast as we can sit there and click them Remember we had 45 before? I bet you we got close to 60 now in just a few seconds. Ah, yep, there we go. And actually if we go like this, I didn't lie, we got 60. So then what we're, what we're eating now is applesauce. It's so much better than apples. It's so much better than juice. You see how we get three, three food hotches there? versus the two well that's not the only thing if you look down there we also get a whole lot more saturation so when we sit there and eat these up and two bowls we got full saturation yeah this thing is so easy to make we just come up here and we use the little pot here and that there is just four let's see here we got some iron around here oh it's in my backpack what you know it it's just some iron couple a uh, stick and we just go like this we just put the iron round in a circle like that and we got a pot a nice little pot then with the pot all you do is you sit there you put it there you put one apple in instead of two remember juice was using two apples so this is a lot better and just click it shift click and we got ourselves 64 or 60 more and then we just go back over here usually i leave it by the juicer because there are some things that the juicer is good for yeah when we did the tinkering the tinkers uh smeltery we got ourselves a little a little bit of pulsating iron we got a slime charm we need a few more we got two quarter hearts and now what we're gonna do is we just we're just finishing we're just finishing smelting a whole bunch a whole bunch of of iron I mean a whole bunch as you can see we got 14 blocks with 80 ingots left and what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to remember how we're using grout to make uh, 
to make our seared bricks. Well, we don't need that anymore. Actually, all we need is just grab a stack. A stack will be 64, 64 bricks. And if we do that, that will give us 16 more. And since you guys don't know this, I'm a little stubborn when it comes to my smelteries. I like to be able to I like to be able to smelt the whole stack of 64. So we actually got to go up six more. And uh, that's why that's why you see the weird shape like this. It's a little two by four. It'll be eight tall, and eventually it's gonna be 24 tall when we get when we get some time. That way there we can just toss three stacks in and away we go. I also explain the difference about uh, making casts. When you make casts, you need an ingot like this. That'll be out of there. And we just uh, put the ingot down. And then we got two choices to make casts. We can either use gold or aluminum brass, which we made right there. Aluminum brass takes three aluminum and one copper and it'll make you four ingots well in this case here we used we used the ore chunks since we're using the ore chunks we get two ingots per in the smeltery kind of nice little simple or or doubling and when we do that we go ahead and we pour that we pour the aluminum brass around it and it only takes one ingot to make make the make the cast which is a lot better for me i hate wasting gold especially early game it's kind of hard to get especially on a sky block like this you know we got nowhere to go really digging around yeah most most time i'm underground so i i'm always getting ores but man up here we're wide open as you can tell we got a spot for growing those uh monster trees so we can get some more uh whoop. so we can get some more uh Get some more silk or uh, string. Yep, we need more string because we've got we got to upgrade these here to iron. So we're gonna need 54 iron, which uh, we we got just a little bit. I think we'll be okay. And we'll get that going. We'll get some good old. We'll get some good old iron iron uh, meshes in here, and then. We may even move it downstairs and do all of our sifting down there. Get some storage drawers hooked up to it. Uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, we may do it today because let's, let's see what's next on our on our quest list. We're going to go ahead and look here. Ooh, this is nice. To the nether. We just need 10 obsidian. Well, if we want to make a good portal, it's a little more than 10 obsidian. So we'll go ahead and do that. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and upgrade upgrade our uh, Tinker's uh, tool station to the second tier so we can get some hammers and some better things like that. We've got enough, we've got enough iron that, that I think we can go ahead and afford to do that. Especially once we up this, upgrade these to iron. We make sure so that way there we can get a hammer which uh, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I, I really like doing. I go ahead and I use obsidian. Then we're going to go ahead, and once these are upgraded to iron, we're going to go ahead and start making some automatic generation. Now what I try doing with these is every time I take a bucket out, I try to put a bucket back in. So that way there we've got a constant flow of lava. But hopefully here, real soon, we'll be able to take this, pipe it in there, and we'll go ahead and get a couple. We may even build one more of these. I gotta see if we've got the we've got the clay. I gotta see if we've got the uh, bone. We got the we need a couple more bone mills, which means uh, we got the sand. Guess what, guys? I think we're gonna go ahead and do it. We'll build one more. That way, there'll double our lava production, and we can either go use a uh, lava for power gen or something else. We might. Uh, Something I've never done before is uh, breeding cows, so we, I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm, I'm really thinking about uh, breeding the cows. And, and of course, oh, that's right, it takes dust to get those. Ah, I'm always forgetting that. 
I'm always forgetting which one they need. You know, it's that that's a little silly old age thing that I keep telling you guys about. Make sure you're nice to the old people. Like me. Like me. That way there, you know. Remember, we brought you into this world. We can take you out. So, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead here. Uh, see that? We've got eight blocks of seared bricks. And once this here is done, we'll go ahead and start popping those out. We'll just pop our casting right back in. And the reason why I do that instead of pour it in the basin there is I don't like the look. I like the look of this. If I could, I would build my houses out of this. There we go. Three buckets. So we go like that. And we'll just go ahead and start pumping these out. In fact, we'll come over here and we'll grab another 64. And we'll go ahead and keep it going. Yeah, one of the first things we're going to do here real shortly is make some uh, some item pipes. So that way there. So that way there we can go ahead and just put a block above this, keep it going, and it'll sit there and just pop everything out. And it'll be good. Well, go ahead and hold on, guys. I'll, I'll uh, get these going. I'll show you what we're up to. And uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, as you tell, we're getting close to uh, getting 64 of these. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and clear these three out here. And we're going to put three more faucets and three more basins. And if we got enough, we may even put one right there. Another casting. Another casting bin. That way there we can get it going just a little quicker. Because these ones here are going to be for like iron and stuff like that. And there we go. So we just go over here and get our casting basins. We just make an upside down U. And all we need is three. One, two, three. For now, eventually we'll get a few more. Oh yeah, so we'll go ahead and grab four of these. Four you say, why four? Well, because we gotta go like that. We're gonna go ahead and get another one of those. And we're just gonna get these, go like that. And we'll just go ahead and leave these here for now. So we'll go ahead and get all this set up and I'll show you guys how nice it is to have a, have a setup like this. In fact, it's going to be really nice, especially once we start rolling in those ores and getting everything going. Now, you remember about that, uh... Uh-oh, we forgot something. Ha! Huh. We need one... That's right, we need one more of these silly faucets, don't... Or these silly drains. There we go, yeah. This here, this here... This little guy wants a happy little home right on our uh, right on our smeltery. Uh, don't worry, guys. As long as you don't break that one there, you can go ahead and do that. So don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. I knew what I was doing this time, believe it or not. Then we just go like that. We're just going to go like this. Bring that out. Drop that there. Now you see we got an extra ingot and once this is melted which is right now that's poured we're just gonna go like that and that way there we can go ahead and start pouring both these at one time and that'll, that'll be good so let's see bam bam there we go we got two going this will go so much faster now it go even faster if I decided to to go ahead, bite the bullet, and go put up some conduit. We do have the stuff to do it. All I gotta do is make some glass, do some things, and we could actually pump the lava in there. So, do you wanna know what? I think we're gonna go do it, guys. That's right, we're gonna go do it. But before we do, we're gonna go ahead and put some more, some more in there, because like I said, we gotta get it up a lot higher. A lot, lot higher. So we go like this, and we just come over here, 
Now to make conduit binder, you come over to the crafting table. Oh, that, that there's for later. And we type in binder. This is from a nice little mod called Ender IO. They've got pipes, they've got power, they've got just about everything that you can imagine to make a modded Minecrafter happy. Yep, don't forget the nice little clay we got there. We go like that, we go bam, we got eight. Oh, we're gonna need a whole lot more than eight. There we go, 64. Now each one of these will give us two. So that there is actually 32. And we'll end up making some more here in just a little bit. So, so that means when we get ready to do this, we're actually gonna have to take some cobble downstairs and we're gonna go ahead and extend that out and get everything all nice and going. So we go like this, eh, that's 12, that's enough. That'll give us, that'll give us two sets for now. We go like that. Then to make the conduit, you just go like that. And there we go. We have eight 16 item conduits. Now we're just gonna grab ourselves some, some of that. We're gonna get ourselves some steaks. We like the sticks that we do. Come back over here. We'll put those in our inventory. And then we'll just go like this. We'll go like that. And then we come over to our, our nice little fishing hole. We'll go down, down, down. And we come out. Then all we gotta do is go out six from here and we'll be good to go. Now be careful when you're working on your edge like this. We just go one, two, three, four, five, six. If you look up, ooh, wow, I guess not. Man, I guess I didn't do, uh, do any math lately. Three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe we have to go out nine. Yeah, nine sounded more like it. Because it's supposed to be, end up being a 31 by 31. So we go one, two, three. There we go. That's perfect there. Now with these little Ender I.O. Things. We just go like that. And like that. And as you see, they all hook up. Now what we want to do is we want to set each one of these up to extract. We should never be putting stuff in here. Extract, always active. Extract, always active. That way there, when it solidifies up, it's going to instantly suck it down. Always active. The nice thing about these here is you can actually tell these where to go by the different channels. So we could have two chests sitting side by side and all the ingots go to one chest and all, all the ore go to, or all the blocks go to another chest just by changing the channel right there. It's got green, it's got 16 channels, it's got all the Minecraft uh, colors in there. Green. It's got round robin, so that way there, when it extracts, if we had four or more, uh, if we had more uh, chests or bins set up, it it'd put one in one bin, one in the other bin, then back to the first one, over to the second one, and yeah, there's a lot we can do with this. It's really, really nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and go up here, grab ourselves a couple of chests. Well, you want to know what? Let's see here. I like to do is whoa hmm we uh and look down like that I like to go ahead and put our chest in the middle of each or uh, crafting station in the middle of each floor 
that way there you know I, I could go like like that and get it but no I just like to have one in each floor and so if we go like this it should be seven one two three four five six seven and if we go over here one two three four five six seven right in the middle we'll go ahead and get this here straightened out in just a little bit but we're gonna go up get that taken care of get ourselves a couple little chests uh, do we want to, we'll go ahead and do two chests that way there they're side by side we could store lots of stuff there we'll upgrade them later yeah it'll be all nice we're gonna have to go back downstairs here in just a minute oh that's right we've also got to run it over here and get that taken care of and then guys i think we're gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna make our our uh See, not going yet. That's because I gotta go uh, set this one to insert. So that way there it knows where to go. So now, if you remember, there was nothing in there, so we set this to insert. And if we look, there we go. And we take this and we go over here, like that, like that. We set that distract always active. And we got two now. Perfect. This is awesome. This is great. It's going to be nice. Give us just a second. We're going upstairs. We're going to go back to our smeltery. And we're going to go like this. Like this. See? They just pop right out of there. So all we have to do is just go like that. We look. If we want to, I'll show you guys how they work with the iron. It's just the same. We just go around like this. Here and just here and just a little bit. Oh, there's where my pick went. Haha, <laughs> we found it. Here in just a little bit, uh, probably a day or two, we're gonna go ahead and automate this. I got a really nice little easy way to automate it that I think you guys will like. It's uh it's a little tricky to do, but it's it's not it's not too bad. See that? Those are getting done. Wow. Doggone it, I did it again. See? There they are. And we'll just go ahead and put this guy right back in there. It's that way there, you know, so we don't have to pour those. We'll just go ahead and do do uh we'll just go ahead and do all blocks instead of ingots. It's a little it's a little easier. Man keep doing this we're gonna have to go ahead and get ourselves uh get ourselves a little redstone clock and you want know what guys i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here we're gonna pull all all these out oh, but first we gotta go like this we gotta get some stuff out of here yeah yeah we do yeah we do we can never have too much seared brick guys that's my philosophy it'll always get used even if it doesn't get used we live over a void it'll get used so we come back over here and as you see we got plenty of string but somewhere in here we've got string mesh we've got a lot of them i just gotta find out man i can't wait till we get to either storage drawers or or applied energetics I know that's gonna be a little bit but man it's gonna be nice well it looks like we're gonna to have to make some more because I sure can't find those silly things let's try this uh, uh, yep there they are right here so we go like this we got plant we got plenty plenty of meshes we just come up here we go like this we get that done and then we just go ahead well, we got to take these out of here anyhow so we just go like this just go, go like this we'll just drop these down there like that oh we got to check it out is it flint 
Why, yes it is. So we're going to need more flint. And hey, what well, do you guys know? That, that completed a quest for us. You guys want to see what we got this time? I kind of do. I kind of do. So let's go ahead. We'll open our we'll open our logbook up. Go like this. Iron mesh complete. Man, that's so cool. We'll collect the bottom one. Done. Done. And there it is. So we go to Black Lotus. That is nice. When we get into Britannia, that will be so nice for us. Y yes, yes it will. That there gives us starting mana. Well, that's a good one. I like that. And that's a mod that I'm going to be learning with you guys because I have not used that mod at all. Well, let's see here. We got some dust. Let's let's see what our let's see if we can get ourselves just a couple. We just need just a couple, couple redstone. Uh, we got glowstone. Do we? Get, oh yeah, we got some redstone. See that sucker right there? Once we empty our inventory, we'll get that. Hopefully, we got a bunch of it. I sure hope so. Oh, we, we need a we need to cook this stuff up more. Did, did I did I put that? Yeah, I sure did. Man, like I say, be nice to us old people. Sometimes we just forget what we're doing. Gotta get ourselves a couple more. There we go, because you, you always need more of these. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, two. You guys remember what we needed two redstone for yesterday? I sure do. I was hoping we could get a couple more, but well, you want to know what? Two's going to do it for us because that's all we're getting. And it'll be good. Man, that's one thing. Sure is messy. Yeah, we're gonna have to make ourselves another little, another little drawer. But hey, let's look at what what all we need for for our item transfer. Oh, actually, we don't need item transfer, do we? No, we don't. I forgot about that. We've got like this, like this, and we just go down like that. We just set that for extract, always active. Set that for insert, and you look, cobblestone. Now what we need, we need some sand, because what we want are these. Fluid conduit, these are cheap, easy to make, and it accepts any fused glass. You look at this here, quite clear glass. All it is, is glass that we cook again. So all we're going to do is try something you and I are. We're just going to sit here and go like this, grab these. Oh, I keep forgetting that we've got these. We just need three of them. But... Uh-oh, are we out of hammers? No, we're not. There we go. We're going to make just a few. Just a few. And now that we now that we got that going, that there will always keep that filled up. We got 27 of those. We're going to turn these into 27 glass. Yes, we are. 27 glass will be just perfect for us. I'm pretty sure this counts as fused glass, which we're going to find out ourselves all together. So all we do is just bring this over here, go like this. Bam. Keep this going. Go like this. We'll go ahead and go four blocks now. These are the last four that are in there. 
takes a little bit, but ooh, man, we're gonna need to get a couple more buckets of lava over here. Once these are done, we'll we'll go ahead and just throw some more in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we gotta get this bad boy here up four more. Once we do that, man, everything's just gonna start flying. There we go. Those are done. Come over here. There we go. 27 blocks of molten glass. And we'll find out real fast. Right here, in fact. We'll go ahead and get them all out. While these dry up, uh, just... Uh, We'll take a quick break, come back, and then once these are up, I'll show you guys how to make uh, some fluid con uh, fluid conduit. Okay, guys, we're back. We're down to the last four. Something I want to show you is if there's not an ingot for it in uh, JEI, Minecraft will not pour it. So we don't have to worry about doing that. Now, all the times you guys remember me always doing the fourth one, well... We had an odd number, so we're just going to go ahead and let that go. I've been going ahead and cooking up some more seared steer blocks so we can go higher. And just here in just a few minutes, we'll get that done. Okay, let's see here. So we take the binder. We go like that, like that. We've got two left over. Then we just go ahead and go. And it doesn't work. So let's see here fuse so we're hmm yeah I don't know ah, signal will make sand casting will ah. Ah. yeah so that means if we want those we need some more sand and we need to set up ourselves an alloy smeltery which I don't think we're quite in the room yet for it so yeah so we're gonna have to do this uh, with the fluid transfer which which isn't bad it's not bad it's just uh, some stone slabs and any gla glass block Oh, we need one more. We need one more piece. We need one more piece of uh, redstone. You know that? Man, I can't wait till we get all this stuff automated. That'll be so nice. Yeah, so we're going to have to go like this. Like this. Do our favorite time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired of sifting. We're just going to go ahead and go like this. Get ourselves a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch, just a stack or two. Just a stack or two. We'll go ahead and set this back down. We'll go like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And we just keep putting these up. Let's see here. Nope, no other hammer. So we just come over here. Is there one that? Yeah, we'll use that one right there. And is it dust or is it sand for redstone? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Oops. Man. So we go over to sifting and it's dust with a 12% chance. So that means every 100 we do, we should get 12 of them. So let's, we should get about six here, we hope. Man, sometimes I just can't jump, guys. I just can't jump.
There's that, and woohoo! There we go, 53 of them. Come on, redstone. There we go. We got it. Yeah, here, uh, here in the next day or so, we may, uh, we may set ourselves up a little automated, just a little automated thing. So we go like this. We put these back in. Nope, that don't go there. We got that. So we could actually make one more of these, which I'm strongly thinking about doing. What do you guys think? Whoops. I think we can do it. I think, in fact, I think we should do it. So we just need a bucket, and all we need is just two pieces of clay. Ah, actually no. I'm getting I'm getting distracted by shiny objects again. Let's go ahead and do what we need to do. We'll go like that. Oh, we need to cook ourselves some stone. Ah, do we have any stone on us? No, we do not. No, sir. But we got some here. Right there. That should be enough. Oh, no, we don't want to lose that. So we just go like that. Ah. Hmm. Full inventory. Not good. Uh, we'll put that there. Put that there. Pull that out. Put that there. There we go. Man, it's so nice to have a fast furnace like this. We'll go over here, drop these in. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy our chats that we have like this. Uh, I know I I know I could be just a little different, but but yeah, so. Hmm. Yep, that's right. We're making this now. So we need to make some of these. Which all we do is take some of these, go like that, go like that. Go like that. 64. Boom, baby. Oh, we need some more uh, actual stone. So we go like that. Hmm. I was going to say, I could have swore we had that. So we go like that. And we get four of these puppies. So, we're going to be using two of them. So, basically, all we do is set it there. Hook one, one of these little pipes up right that, which we don't want that to do, that to happen. So, we'll just disconnect it there. And we'll go ahead and know some of that nice... Uh, Oh, we have more dust over here. Ha! So we could go ahead and make those. But. Yeah, one thing we're definitely going to be doing is some. Some cleanup. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cleanup. There we go. There we go. In fact, we can come over here. We'll go ahead and throw these 61 in here. That'll give us a few. That'll give us a few more ingots. But we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these. They're just made from stone. Nothing that we can't get rid of. Our our our, our space is kind of tight at the moment, so we'll be okay. We we'll just go like this. And, hmm, let's see this. That's right, we're going to make ourselves a barrel. So we need our, we need our iron. Mine iron there. That's perfect. In fact, we're going to go ahead and make two of them. So the first thing we need is two pressure plates for each one. 
So we need four pressure plates. Then we need two cauldrons. But I'm a, I'm a fool. They'll get used, but that's just a little bit. Sometimes I do do that. And there we go. One barrel. Two barrel. And we got a few of those. Then we'll just go ahead and bring this right here. And I can't remember if this here will work like this. See how that's sticking there? We don't really want that sticking there. So we'll just go ahead and disable that. See that just disconnects from it. Here in a little bit, we'll make a We'll make a wrench, so if we have to, we can reconnect it back up, or we can always just break it. Insert. There we go. Now, that should keep that always full. So, we just take our little transfer node here. We just drop that on the side. See that? Took one bucket of lava. And we're feeding cobblestone in there. Great. That's perfect. We'll stick this up here and just like this. So then we'll set the drum down like this. And it should be piped. There we go. It's piping it in. Then distort it in the second drum. All I do is go like that, put another fluid on it. And we just go like this. So that way there, we'll be able to hold 512 buckets of lava. So for right now, right now that's, uh, that's going to do it for this. We're going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll start pounding out more of these quests. We'll get some obsidian made. We'll, we'll see what it takes to make the go down to the deep dark. And then we're going to get Arnite and Cobalt. And then, then that's where the fun really starts. Well, for those of you that uh, watch this video, I appreciate it. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button. So that way there I know what you're doing. If you guys want to see something different, leave that in the comments too. Let me know what you guys want. I'm here to help you. I'm here to have fun. And if I like it, we'll do it. Until next time, guys, have a great day.